Hello beautiful YouTube world, Taylor Hoffinger here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be talking you guys through my boyfriend's entire cologne How's it going, guys? collection. This is Tyler, very special guest I have here on my channel and unbeknownst to Tyler, it has been pulling teeth essentially to try and get Tyler to build up his cologne collection. <laughs> He's a very classic, sophisticated man, so when he finds a signature scent, he tends to stick to it, and he doesn't like to expand outside of that, but I really got him interested in smelling a bunch of different scents, kind of forced it upon him to go out and do some research and find some new colognes, and we have some wonderful, heavy hitter, incredible recommendations for your significant other, your brother, a family member, or even if you're a female and you enjoy unisex scents, a lot of these will definitely be for you as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So number one scent that we are going to start with is a classic. This is the Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette. Now you really can't go wrong with the Eau de Toilette versus the Eau de Parfum. It's all up to personal preference. The notes are a little bit different in the EDT versus the EDP, but I recommend just go out and smell both of them, see what you like, and go from there. I bought him the EDT because I like it. I think it's just a little bit more fresher and crisper than the EDP. And let me read you guys the notes. So the Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette is a citrus, woody, warm, spicy, aromatic, amber, fresh, spicy scent. So the top notes, we have grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper. Middle notes, we have ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, iso e super. Base notes, we have incense, vetiver, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdomum, and white musk. Now this scent is a classic in a lot of gentlemen's cologne collections. Let me go ahead and give it a spray here. Mm. I wear it. It's my daily go-to. I love it. It's so lovely for year-round, but especially mm. in the spring, summer, guys. If you guys live in a warm climate, you're having a hard time finding a cologne that is fresh enough, citrusy enough, and light enough to wear on a day-to-day -day basis in a really hot, humid climate. This is your guy. It's oh, not too good. heavy, not too resinous, not too sickly sweet or oody or woody. It's just that perfect combination of that fresh, aromatic, spicy citrus scent. And it's very inoffensive. Like, you won't go around wearing this. You can't really overspray this, in my opinion. I think it's just perfect, light. I see a man wearing, like, a really crisp, lovely, linen, fresh outfit. Not dressed like this. I, uh, <laughs> I wasn't planning on being in a video. <laughs> you look great. So, sorry guys. Just like a fresh, lovely, classic outfit. This is the classic man that isn't trying too hard, that is just effortlessly sexy. So this next scent is very controversial because Tyler likes it and I tend to find it a little bit offensive to my nose from time to time. It depends on the mood that I'm in, but sometimes this Prada Black Luna Rosa is too powdery and there's a note in there that just hits me in the wrong way. I think it's the Angelica. We'll go ahead and give this a spray. I used to wear this when I worked in an office. This was my daily um, mm. wear. So this is an amber, musky, woody, powdery, vanilla, aromatic, balsamic, sweet, warm, spicy. Oh yeah, it's a good smell. Top notes are bergamot, middle notes are angelica, patchouli, base notes are coumarin, amber, and musk. I like it. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's really cozy and sultry. You know, today I like it, but there are some days that I find this just to be too offensive. <laughs> I haven't worn it in a while. But yeah, you know. Now he, that you're bringing it up, I, I love the smell of that again. He doesn't <laughs> reach <work>. for <laughs> it, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, he really hardly reaches for this scent. I like Chanel, though. Yeah, the Blue Day Chanel is just classic, mm -hmm. citrusy, easy grab and go. This oh. is a little bit more of like a date night, kind of like a winter, maybe colder fragrance mm -hmm. or colder weather type of fragrance. I can't really see this doing super well in the hot, humid climates. I think it's the dry down that bugs me the most, and I think it's the Angelica in there because all of the other notes I love. Amber, any of them, hit me with it, but the <laughs> Angelica, something about it, it's just a little bit too... I think it's more of a fall scent for yeah. speaking seasons for scents. I would look at that, even though I wore it on a daily basis, 
now living in Florida, I would say, and then you teaching me and schooling me on um, scents. What's I appropriate believe. for what season? Exactly. I would say that would be a more of a winter fall scent. Definitely. You know and I mean? it's powdery. Cardigan sweater. It's smoky, it's powdery, and it's deep. And it's good. This is not a good blind buy. Do not buy this on a whim. Go out and test it first. So this next scent is truly something special. And when I tell you the price is right on this scent, I mean it. So this is the Zara Tobacco Collection, rich, warm, and addictive. And to my knowledge, they come out with a different formulation of this every single year. The 2021 version is beautiful. So this is a vanilla rum powdery sweet scent and the notes are super simple in this. So the top notes are rum, the middle notes are peony, and the base note is that bourbon vanilla. The bourbon vanilla in this is yummy. It's sultry, it's comforting. We love spraying this on one another right before we go to bed and get cozy. It is the perfect clean sheet vibe, yummy kind of sultry bourbon vanilla with that hint of the floral from the peony and the hint of that boozy rum in there, it is a match made in heaven. Now this fragrance, guys, it's a good smell. Twenty dollars, twenty freaking dollars. We smelled this in Zara, and we've never really gotten into Zara fragrances. We didn't no. know much about them, and we smelled this and put it on his skin. Now this dude exfoliates, moisturizes, sunscreens his skin like a beast. I like to take care of myself, what yeah, can I say? Yeah, he takes you know? care of his skin really, really well. So any cologne that he puts on his skin, since he takes such good care of his epidermis, is going to sing, especially these sultry, warm, cozy vanillas on his moisturized, oiled skin. Oh my <laughs> God, it is so beautiful. Now this scent to me is totally unisex. I'm not the type of woman that likes a masculine scent. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, I am not going to spray his cologne mm -hmm. on me and wear it around and feel confident. No, no, no. I like very feminine, usually kind of warm floral scents, but this I can wear, which is shocking. And it's only $20, so him and I spray it like crazy and we throw caution to the wind. We just do not care how much we use of this because we can just go out and buy another $20 bottle like it's no big deal. We love this scent, the price for the value, and just the scent overall. It, to me, smells like a $100 cologne. It does not smell like a $20 cologne. However, the lasting power on this is not amazing, okay? No. This is why we spray it before we go to bed because by the time we wake up in the morning, you can't smell it anymore, okay? So if and, you know, I never wore scents to bed, but now that you've gotten me into it, I it actually is, really dig it. Yeah. I, I really do. This, just, it it just, sounds weird, guys, but it actually is nice. After it's a nice. fresh shower, yeah. putting this on, it is so cozy. And there's something about this to me that is nighttime cozy. Like, I'll spray this during the day, maybe while I'm working um, at my desk. No big deal. Smells great, but there's something about this right before we go to bed. <laughs> it's so special. It's so beautiful and magical. Please, like, you can blind buy this if you want because it's only $20. Like, it's really not a big deal. It's not like a $450 cologne, but mm -hmm. it's so beautiful. You can layer it with a bunch of different things since it's such a sweet, simple, vanilla, kind of boozy scent. I could see this layered and paired with so many other colognes. It's an incredible one to have in your collection. So this next cologne is the Versace Eros for men. So this is a vanilla, aromatic, green, fresh, spicy, amber, sweet scent. The top notes open up with mint, green apple, lemon, middle notes are tonka bean, ambroxan, geranium, base notes are Madagascar vanilla, Virginian cedar, atlas cedar, vetiver, and oak moss. To me, I this was like my going out when I went to the, you know, the club days and whatnot. It does, <laughs> it does remind me of a man you know? in a club trying to pick up a chick a little bit. Like, These we're, are the Blue my De bad boy days, you know? So this is very similar, in my opinion, to the Blue Day Chanel in oh. terms of it's an easy grab and go. It's so fresh and aromatic and crisp and citrusy. It's so beautiful. Again, I can see a man in a nice summertime outfit wearing this, but here's the yeah. difference. A man in the Blue Day Chanel is wearing a nice suit, he's put together, he buys you a drink, he courts you, he treats you like a lady. This man just wants your number and just wants to go home with you, okay? I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Yeah, this no, man I love 
this man is not gonna treat you right. This is the bad boy that you're attracted to for a week, and then you lose interest. I love your analogy. That was great. That's you know what hilarious. I mean? But there's yeah. the difference, though. Like they're both in the same category of easy grab and go, beautiful, citrusy, fresh, aromatic scents. Spring, summertime, they will shine, they will sing. But this is the bad boy that just wants to get in the sheets. And the Blue Day Chanel is the man that you want to marry. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we have the infamous. Whether people like it or not is up to you because this scent tends to be very polarizing. Some women really dislike it and some women, women like me, end up loving this. So this is the Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum. Now again, there are a bunch of different versions of this and you want to make sure that you go into your local Ulta, Sephora, Nordstrom, try all of them out and decide which one is best for you because I find with the Sauvage, it's very personal and they all smell a tinge different. So they have an EDT, an EDP, and then they came out recently with the Elixir. The Elixir is very strong, very sultry, mm. kind of oily to the touch almost. Try them all out. Personally for us, we went into Ulta, we sprayed all three. He liked the EDP the best, which is good because EDP tends to be a formula concentration that is concentrated enough for people to notice it on your skin without choking them out. And we are all about that in this household. We want to smell good, but not be offensive. I personally don't care. <laughs> I mean. So this is a fresh, spicy, citrus, amber, musky, lavender. And that lavender is so calming. There's something mm. so comforting and cozy about this. And the commercial for this scent is Johnny Depp right by a fire on the beach. And to me, that is so fitting, you know, like a cozy summertime fire lit on the beach to where you feel like you're, it's a special time, you know, but it's still cozy and comforting. Does that make sense? Like it's a very special occasion, beautiful scent, but still cozy. And that's hard to find because cozy to me makes it very wearable. Yeah, I have to be honest, um, between Dior and Chanel, they're my top, like, well, and Creed. I love the scent of Creed. Creed's mm -hmm. amazing, too. But those three are, like, my top ones. And I think every guy should have those three in their arsenal. Yes. So, yeah, men, if, if you honest. are building a cologne collection, start with Dior and Chanel. Okay? Yeah. You cannot go wrong with mm -hmm. a Dior or a Chanel fragrance for men. This is a really good and one. And test all of them out, okay? There are so many, and they are all up to personal preference. And then another thing you definitely not cannot go wrong with for a man is Tom Ford. Now, I tend to disagree with that in terms of female fragrances mm -hmm. for Tom Ford. I have a hard... I really want to add a Tom Ford to my collection, but I'm having a hard time finding something that suits me and suits my style and isn't too masculine. So the Tom Ford tends to be unisex. It could go male, it could go female. But if you are a male and you're building your cologne collection, Dior, Chanel, Tom Ford, you cannot go wrong. So the Sauvage has top notes of bergamot, middle notes of Sichuan pepper, lavender, star anise, and nutmeg, base notes of ambroxan and vanilla. Again, it's so sexy. Yeah. It's so cozy. It's so warm and beautiful it's hard to even describe but mm -hmm. just imagine a warm fire lit at dusk <laughs> on the beach with a, with just beautiful individuals around you having a good time making memories mm -hmm. but it also feels elevated you know but it definitely it's is this a safe blind buy would you recommend someone just goes absolutely. out and buys this randomly? absolutely okay. absolutely I, I don't know how you cannot like the smell of this it's pretty spicy honest. okay in comparison to the blue day chanel and the versace arrows this leans more peppery more spicy more masculine definitely. you know instead of like the you know you don't want to smell feminine definitely this I mean, is maybe true do, masculinity but... through and through okay where i can see a woman maybe getting away with the blue day chanel or the versace arrows this is true masculinity the next cologne that we have is very controversial Bam! okay very very controversial <laughs> this is the armaf club de nuit intense for the man now this is a dupe da -da -da -da, for the creed of ventus okay creed of ventus i believe to my knowledge is around four hundred dollars okay mm -hmm. this club de nuit armaf intense for a man oh. is 35 dollars on amazon okay now, to the very trained nose, this may smell nothing like Creed Aventus, but to our noses, we've smelled both. This is very similar. I'd say it's about 95, maybe 90% similar to the Creed Aventus, and I'll read you guys the notes. 
This is a citrus, fruity, leather, smoky, woody, aromatic scent. So the top notes are lemon, pineapple, bergamot, black currant, and apple. Middle notes are birch, jasmine, rose. Base notes are musk, ambergris, patchouli, and vanilla. So there's a lot going on in this fragrance. But mainly what I get from it is kind of a pleasant leather. I yeah. I absolutely love this. It's the perfect blend of like a pleasant leather, floral, woody, citrus scent. So there's a lot going on in here, but it's so well blended. Mm -hmm. Now some people are team ride or die for the Aventus. Some people are like, screw the Club de Nuit. We like Creed Aventus. Which That's, I get. Which I get, I get it. But I listen, it. for $35, right? Every time I've worn this out, I always get a compliment from somebody. Always. What is that? What is that? Always. At, like waitresses, I, yeah. servers. And it, and it stays on my skin through. forever. It it's does. Crazy. This is a beast. This is intense. So this will stay on your skin for forever. And same thing with the Creed Aventus. Mm -hmm. The way that they're formulated, just with that base, woody, leathery, smoky dry down, really attaches to the skin. Yeah. It's such a beautiful scent. Again, only $35. If you don't want to spend the around $400 for the Creed Aventus, give this a try. Report back to me. Let me know in the comments Let's how know. you guys <laughs> felt. Let me read you guys the notes of the Creed Aventus because that's going to be an honorable mention here, okay? Mm -hmm. Just because Tyler has the Armoff Club de Nuit doesn't mean we're not interested in the Creed Aventus. I want the cheap route this time. Yeah, we're <laughs> going to get him the Creed Aventus at some point, but for now, this is a good start. You know what I mean? And what I would love for him to ultimately do is have the Creed Aventus and mix it with this. So do like one baby spray of the Creed and then three sprays of this. So that way you can keep going on the $35 one and use the $450 one sparingly. But with the Creed Aventus, instead of having a top note of lemon and pineapple, the Creed Aventus just has pineapple. So I think that's the main complaint that people voice about the Club de Nuit is that it smells like fake lemon cleaning spray and I totally understand but that goes away so quickly that top note dissipates so quickly and then the middle notes the only difference between the Aventus and the Club de Nuit is that there is patchouli in the middle notes of the Creed Aventus and then in the base notes the only difference is that there's an oak moss component mm. and that is left out in the Club de Nuit formulation very similar. Give both of them a try. If it's not in your budget to do the $450 one, do what we did. Do the Club de Nuit. He gets compliments on this. All the time. All the time. All the time. Both of my sisters fell in love with that. You can find it on Amazon. Our Moth Club de Nuit Intense. Mm. So we have two honorable mentions. He does not own these currently in his collection, but we are working towards getting him these in well, his collection. <laughs> because I always think that a fragrance collection is truly never finished because we found both of these scents and they were gorgeous on his skin and they were both so incredibly different. So both of these are Tom Ford scents. The first one is going to be Oud Wood by Tom Ford. This is a woody, oody, warm, spicy, aromatic vanilla. So we have oud, Brazilian rosewood, sandalwood, cardamom, vanilla, Sichuan pepper, vetiver, tonka bean, and amber. On paper, this sounds like something Taylor Hoffinger would freaking hate. Okay? Super oody, oody, super woody, super peppery, spicy. Sounds like something I would truly hate, but Tom Ford has really done such an exquisite job of blending and marrying all of these notes in such a beautiful unison way and when he put this on his skin we fell in love with it the name says it all it's a true oody woody scent and it's so beautiful so masculine i could never see a woman wearing tom ford oud wood it's just a quintessential luxurious you can tell that you spent a lot of money on this fragrance type of fragrance. Next one and our final honorable mention aside from the Tom Ford Oud Wood and the Creed Aventus is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vini. The cologne that started it all. This is such a famous cologne in the cologne world which is another reason why we may not add it to Tyler's collection because it's so famous like everybody it seems has it. So we may not add it to his collection because he likes to kind of maintain an element of uniqueness in his sense. So Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille is a vanilla sweet tobacco, warm, spicy, fruity cacao scent. The top notes are tobacco leaf, spicy notes, middle notes are vanilla, cacao, chonka bean, tobacco blossom, and base notes are dried fruits and woody notes. This smells a hair 
a hair a hair similar to this one this Zara tobacco collection the rich warm and addictive they are very different though okay so this is like your basic tobacco vanilla just very bourbon boozy vanilla sultry sweet cozy the Tom Ford tobacco vanille has that added depth in there that makes it smell rich now what I could see Tyler doing is buying the Tom Ford tobacco vanille layering it with this and oh my goodness because Tom Ford fragrances for the most part really last a long time what this one lacks here is the lasting power so him marrying that Tom Ford tobacco vanille alongside of this to make this last longer would be an incredible combination so Not we're getting long. there slowly but surely we will probably be adding the Creed Aventus maybe a Tom Ford in there we'll have to decide between the oud wood or the tobacco vanille and we're getting there slowly but surely but I definitely think this is a lovely collection for a gentleman who is just starting out on fragrance I don't think any of these in here are super offensive super spicy super woody I think they're all very approachable all very mass marketable mass pleasing and I could see just a handsome man in his 20s 30s 40s 50s maybe even 60s loving each and every one of these and they're also all very different. We've got some spicy woodies, we've got some fresh aromatic citruses, we've got some cozy vanillas, and we've got a leather citrus kind of vanillic combination as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I could just talk about this stuff all, <laughs> all day. day, as you could probably tell. Thank you so much of for course. coming on Thanks the Thanks for allowing me on your channel. Sorry I didn't dress the part, but no, you know, you're fine. I wasn't expecting to film and talk about my scents. <laughs> I, I think you learned a bit more I did. I, I've learned a lot them. about scents. Um, I did not know there was so much that was involved in uh, perfume and uh, cologne so the main thing that I wanted him to know is just what's appropriate to wear when you know I think the biggest mistake that beginners make in a fragrance collection is wearing something that's a little bit inappropriate for the time now listen you do you boo you can wear whatever whenever you me. want you could do whatever you want wear whatever you want whenever you want but I definitely think with the appropriate occasion and matching it with the appropriate fragrance is when you really get all the compliments in the world on it. Mm -hmm. It makes you look look put together, smell put together, all of the above. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, my boyfriend's cologne collection. Maybe we'll update you guys in a little bit on new additions to his yeah. collection. And we will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye, guys.